guys what is up it is ivy concrete catwalk those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it to my catwalk with you welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey some things that i want to share with you little luxuries little luxuries are some things that I think you would want to pick up to pamper and spoil yourself. Some of these things are consumable, things that you can use, and some of these things are to wear. So I'm not gonna drag this all out. As you saw from the title, do not, don't try to one up me. It is a conversation that I overheard. I always share with you guys when I hear conversations that tickle, ting, ping, bother me, and I wanna get your opinion about it. This is our book, our black book of notes, when there's some things I really want to talk to you about. First thing that I wanna share with you with regards to little luxuries are the sunglasses that you saw me in in the intro. I picked these sunglasses up at Walmart. Walmart is not the focus. The focus is the fact that these are a throwback brand, which is Foster Grant's. Simplistic smoke black sunglasses i'll put this here so you can screenshot it if you want to run in walmart to try and find this little luxury these look way more expensive than the 24 dollars that i paid for them take yourself to walmart to see if you can't find these sunglasses keeping in the theme of sunglasses pair number two i happen to be in Saks off fifth these are hugo boss sunglasses they came in this all leather carry sunglass case matte black aviators and i'm gonna hold them up so that you can see them when i saw these in their sunglass department i was done thin gold arms matted out frame and then the lenses are a reddish low-key smoked out undertone to them when i put these on i feel on these sunglasses rang in at $65 and a little bit of change. Find yourself in Saks Off Fifth. You may want to see if you can't find these Hugo Boss Aviators. And the last thing that I wanna show you with regards to little luxuries in the sunglass department. I prefer that all of my sunglasses have a case that I can put them in. The pair that I got from the Dollar Tree, the large frames, and I'll post a picture here here so you can see, broke those at the bottom of my purse. I have learned to get a case. One particular case is a pink velvet eyeglass case by Miu Miu. So I happen to find myself on eBay. I picked up this. It is the perfect mauve pink, and I'm gonna open this up inside and out big enough to fit jumbo sunglasses if you want to screenshot this i picked this up on ebay for all of 15 dollars it just feels so luxe it just feels so bougie moving on we get to a pair of slip-ins they are by mud picked up in walmart these rang in at about 25 dollars you can get into walmart to find these these are well worth it i'm gonna hold these this way so you can see i'll let you look inside to see the soft fuzzy lining they come in black but this is the color these are a little luxury that you may want to splurge in they look really good they do not look cheap they don't feel cheap i would highly suggest that you try to see if you can't find these. That brings us to something we can consume. I am a huge coffee drinker. I love espresso, iced coffee, you name it. Sometimes with my coffee, I want a little extra sweetness. I found myself in Home Goods, came across a syrup to put in coffee that I'd never seen before. Now, the brand I've purchased before, but this flavor I have not seen before. So I'm gonna pick this up. This is a little luxury. This is Cookie Butter by Le Serup de Monin. Now, if I butchered this, I apologize. Somebody who's familiar with French, please let 
us all know what the correct enunciation is, but this is phenomenal. It, it feels like you're literally drinking a cookie. It is divine. I highly suggest that you go and pick it up. Let's get into this conversation. Don't try and one up me. When I'm out and about, I'm one of those people where I am very quiet. I like to look, listen, touch, things that I'm interested in, clothes, bags, shoes, whatever it may be. But sometimes you cannot help but overhear the conversations that people just, they have. It was in Neiman Marcus. And I, I just wanted to go in there and do something I hadn't done in quite a long time. And that was look around, look at all the new handbags that were out and introduced. Why not? Touch, feel, see, maybe, who knows? In the mix of doing that, it's always chatter, always people talking, talking. So I happened to overhear a discussion that was going on between a salesperson and somebody who was interested in bags. One person, one salesperson, and so the dialogue ensued. person happened to pick up I'm not gonna name the bag, I'm just gonna be, but it was expensive. The first thing out of the salesperson's mouth was, oh, I have that bag. Like, okay, yeah, okay, great, we, we get it. Beautiful bag. So the person acknowledges, yeah, it is beautiful piece, moves on to the next and looks around. It goes. The person comes across another bag and the Salesperson says again, oh yeah, you know, that bag too. I have that bag too. I do Okay, let's stop right there. I have to say it the way I would would have said it where I am that person's shoes of the customer. And I would have politely asked them to stop. I'm gonna say this. One thing that I find highly irritating is people who are in the business of one-upmanship. It doesn't matter what capacity, because I'm not talking about friends, because true friends do not do that. True friends, never a competition. They don't get in the mix of trying to, oh, I got this, and it, it, it. it's not a competition. So we're gonna take that out of the equation. But what we're gonna talk about is people who feel the need to always have to chime in on something beyond what it is that you may be interested in or have or have done. I find that highly rude. And I also find that, that people who do that, there is a level of insecurity and there's also a level of jealousy because were it not, it wouldn't be a circumstance where the person would have to keep saying this and this and this. And I'm gonna take it beyond just that interaction that I overheard. I'm it on the playing field so we all can learn from people who do this because we've all encountered people who have put us in a position where you're just having a normal conversation and you raise something that you've done. Oh, I've traveled to Paris. Oh, I've done that too. Oh, I did it. Oh, I've done that too. I've got that. I did it. Stop. Stop it. And I'll say this to you guys, just being real. When I start hearing a conversation that I'm having with just in general, slide in the direction where I feel like a person is trying to one up because I say this and they've done extra. I say that and they've gone down the block. It diminishes the desire to even want to continue on a path of having any type of a dialogue with people who do that. In terms of how you try to deal with people who do that, I always say, let me just kill them with kindness because what I do is I just shut down. I become very quiet. I just listen to the dialogue that they are delivering and I don't interject at that point because ultimately what am I trying to do? I am trying to remove myself from the conversation and remove myself out of that particular situation or that person's presence. I don't think that anybody 
is trying to brag when they talk about experiences that they've had. Meaning if you're coming from a place of humble, I'm just sharing with you what I've done. We're just having a general conversation. There's a big difference between bragging and one-upping. I notice that especially in the, whether it be luxury handbags or luxury clothing, that that tends to creep up a lot among people. The biggest thing that I always think about in the back of my mind, I, I didn't ask you whether or not you own this or you have that. If we're sharing, it would be nice if they would be coming from a place of saying, yeah, oh yeah, I have that too. And what do you think of yours? Do you enjoy it? Is your experience this? Because I had this and this happened. If you try to spin it from the standpoint of, oh yeah, I got that two years ago, or I got that six months ago, I don't really care. Everybody can have a nice baseline general conversation about something you would hope without it escalating in a direction where you make one or some or many people feel uncomfortable. I'm simply saying that if you find yourself in a situation where you are feeling like somebody is trying to one up you or they're trying to show out or show above what it is, that you have done or doing or purchased is you have to learn how to talk to a person who does one upping without losing your damn mind. Because whenever a person feels that they have to always stick their two cents in, just remember to remind yourself that that other person, they may be suffering from low self-esteem and or insecurities, and they might feel a little uncomfortable or a little out of place because you're doing things that come naturally and because you want to do those things, not because you have a need to one up or try to over impress. So you guys, there you have it. Those are the little luxuries that I wanted to share with you. Make sure you run and check those out if you have the opportunity to. Don't forget, the giveaway is still open. It closes Sunday, November 10th at midnight. So please go back and check out the previous videos that I posted for all of the specifics and the bags that are going to be a part of the giveaway. There are two bags, so go back and watch those videos. They will also be tagged at the end of this one. So if you have any questions or you're still trying to make up your mind about which bag you want, you can go back and take a look at those videos. The giveaway winners will be announced on Sunday, November the 17th. Again, the giveaway closes Sunday, November the 10th at midnight. So you have plenty of time to look at those videos, make up your mind about the bag, and like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me why you want which bag and the reason, or just make it simple. Hey, I want this bag. However you choose to do it, but you have to like, comment, and subscribe on any one of my videos up until the 10th. And then the lucky two windows will be announced on Sunday, November the 17th. It is that simple. I don't make things complicated. You guys know I love you all. My responsibility is to give back, to make you guys happy, makes me happy. That is it and that is all. You guys are family and I thank you all for stopping by this week. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, tap that and you will receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. Head on over to Poshmark, check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there that you are interested in, feel free to leave me a message there or you can head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG feel free to DM me there as well if you see anything in my closet that you like. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now.